Hello everyone. This video is about the skills required to become a full stack developer. Let's first understand who is a full stack developer. A full stack developer is someone who is mostly responsible for the end to end development of a complete product. Let's assume we are developing a social networking web application which has a feature to display the details of its users such as profile picture and some personal information. The first thing that you can see in this application is the website itself which can also be called as the front end part of your application. You can basically develop the front end part with the technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But the front end part is only responsible for showing the data in user friendly way. The actual data of the users are not stored in the front end. It is actually stored in a secured place which is called as the database. In the middle we have the back end technologies which is basically responsible for fetching the requested data from the database and send it as a response to the front end and only then the front end can display this data in user friendly way. It's very common to get a doubt as a beginner such as why do we need these back end technologies to interact with the database? Can't we directly connect to the database from the front end technologies and fetch the required data? Well, to answer this question, let's simply assume that front-end technologies actually have the capability to directly connect to database and fetch the relevant data. Let's see what are the consequences if you develop such an application. Let me inform you that the front-end files such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript can be completely downloaded by your users using their respective browsers. So if you are connecting to your database from your front end, then you would also have written the database server details and credentials somewhere inside your HTML or JavaScript. Now this will pose an extremely high data security risk because this sensitive information can be downloaded by anyone who is accessing your website. So this is one of the reason why we need backend technologies in the middle. So now that we know some of the major components of a full stack application, let's now look at the must have skills to become a full stack developer. At number one we have the front end technologies. As already explained, front end is the actual website with which the users or customers interact directly. As part of front end it is mandatory for every developer to be good with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. You should be familiar with one or more popular front-end development frameworks such as Angular, React and Vue. It is good to be comfortable in using Bootstrap and jQuery which basically helps in speeding up the styling and working with DOM elements. It is also good to be familiar with visualization JavaScript libraries such as chart.js and d3.js which helps in adding the charts or visualization capabilities for websites. Next we have the backend technologies. The backend technology helps in communication between frontend and the databases. For backend we have a variety of options to choose. I will mention some of the popular technologies that can be used to develop the backend part. At first we have the python stack which, uh, which has some of the popular backend frameworks such as Django, Flask, CherryPy and Pyramid. Next we have the .NET stack which consists of some of the popular backend frameworks such as ASP.NET MVC, ASP.NET Web API, .NET Core Web API and WCF. You can use languages such as C Sharp, VB.NET and F Sharp to develop this but most widely used language for .NET development is C Sharp. Next we have the Java stack which consists of technologies such as Spring Boot, Spring MVC and Spring Rust. We can also use PHP for backend as it is still one of the most widely used language to develop WordPress websites. 
Currently, over 34% of websites in the world are built with WordPress, which uses PHP as its programming language. We have another popular MVC based backend framework called as Ruby on Rails. And interestingly, we also have some JavaScript frameworks for building our backend web applications. Some of the popular JavaScript frameworks for backend development are Express.js, Backbone.js, and Meteor.js. It is good to be comfortable in using ORM tools. ORM, also called as Object Relational Mapping, is a tool which helps you to interact with the database directly using your preferred programming language instead of having to learn SQL or Structured Query Language, which is the preferred language to interact with the databases. For .NET and C-Sharp as part of ORM, we have something called as Entity Framework and nHibernate. For Java, we have Hibernate iBatis and Toplink. For Python, we have Django ORM and SQL Alchemy. So as part of the next skill, you need to be good in working with databases. Databases are actual place where all the relevant details required by our applications such as user details, application data and other details will be stored. You should be familiar with SQL databases and it is good to have the familiarity with no SQL databases as well. Under SQL, we have popular databases such as Oracle SQL, Microsoft SQL, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQLite. And under no SQL databases, we have MongoDB, Neo4j, Cassandra, and HBase as popular no SQL databases. You should be very good at debugging and writing SQL queries stored procedures and SQL functions. As part of next skill, you have to be familiar in using at least one source control software. A source control software is basically a tool which helps you to keep track of all the changes done to the application by different developers and also helps in collaboration with different developers from different places. Some of the popular version control tools are Git CVS and Microsoft TFS. As part of next skill for a full stack developer, it is good to have the knowledge of popular mobile application development frameworks for Android and iOS such as Android Studio, Xcode, React Native, Ionic and NativeScript. Finally, as part of next skill, it is good to be familiar with DevOps and Agile methodology. DevOps is a set of software development practices which helps in collaboration between the development and the operations team to shorten the development life cycle. Agile methodology helps to break the product into several deliverable pieces which helps in continuous communication between the development team and the customer to make sure that everyone is aligned with the development of final product. So that was all about the skills required for a full stack developer.